So, uh, so stay out of there if you're scared of horse figurines. <laughs> uh, this is the kitchen. This is the uh, living area. Oh, and this is our, this is our shared receptionist, Martha. Say hi, Martha. Hi, hello. Um, uh, this is, uh, oh wow. <laughs> this is my wife Lisa's uh, uh, waiting room, which is, which is uh, very busy uh, at the moment. So. For the camera, what is it that you do again? We're sex surrogates. A therapist who specialize in intimacy issues using a, a real hands-on approach. What does that mean? Oh, sorry. Sometimes we have intercourse with our clients. Hi, <laughs> so late. I will always wait for you. And I you. And, and remember, it's therapeutic penetration. Sorry, therapeutic mm. penetration. That's right. <laughs> it seems like it would be pretty difficult for two people in this line of work to stay married. Uh, how do you guys do it? Well, we, we lay down ground rules right away. Mm -hmm. First off, we never discuss the details of our sessions. And secondly, if we develop feelings for a client, we immediately transfer him. Or her. Right. And no anal. Well, <laughs> that's assumed. <laughs> Most importantly, our relationship. It's number one. We take reconnection sabbaticals. When we need total honesty, we enter the truth circle. We enjoy historically accurate role play. We have scheduled whimsy. We find new ways to show our love. And when we really need to reconnect, we have therapeutic penetration in the TP. She means intercourse. I do. Our relationship has never been better. Mm -mm. That's great. Is sex surrogacy legal? Well, it's a mm. very fine line of legality. So. Dr. Caldwell, your 10.30 is here. Oh, I didn't even know I had a 10.30. <laughs> because you don't. It's the other Dr. Caldwell. Oh, yes. Uh, Lisa has her doctorate now. Woo! <laughs> Great, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I look forward to reconnecting with you tonight. So do I. Mm. Is there more of a demand for female sex surrogates? Yeah, I mean, it fluctuates, you know? It's just like any other business. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there more of a demand for Ben than Jerry? I think it's just a one company. It's not. Look, Lisa has clients. You're making great strides in terms of intimacy. Thank you. Hey. And I have clients. You're doing a great job verbalizing your boundaries. Okay, I'm just picking up my pen. How many clients do you have in a typical week? I don't have those numbers in front of me. Three. That's how many clients does Lisa have? Listen, just so, we, just so we're clear, my specialty is research. Now, when I was getting my PhD at Brown... 53. I, you can't just blurt out a number like that. <laughs> I 53. Looked at the, That's not the real number. I looked like, in the books. Thank you, Martha. <laughs> She's so helpful. She's not helpful. Did you I mean, say it's an average week for No, her? that's of course not. That's not average. That's, that's overly average. You know what I'm saying? Hey, sorry. I didn't uh, excuse me. Uh -huh. I know it was in here. So Jesse's having some erectile problems. Uh, no, no details. Uh, right? Gotta follow the rules. Okay? Okay, sorry. It's okay. Hi. Hi. How are I'm you? I'm the W. And I am the E. And, and together, together we, we make, make a we. Hi there. Hi, little person. Hi, little person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Okay. Is that uh, that's the thing you guys do? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great job. Thank you. Okay. See you next week. All right. Thanks. All right. Glad you saw that. You know, we did some really, really peaceful work. You know, it's just, I don't know. It feels good to help people. Uh, it feels good to help. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this door. You're doing good work. Oh my god.
God, you're doing good work.